can't relate, okay? I'm barely making it by. I'm the future of musical theater, Scott. All right, Jonathan. My butcher blocked You better dance, David. So it's skin scales. Scales? Um, full hair loss. All of it? Hair, well, it doesn't hurt. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? What? Are you sure about that? He's trespassing. Are we not gonna, we not gonna do anything about that? No consequences? He's trespassing. You know, between Spider-Man and Tick Tick Boom, I think it's official. I am back in my Andrew Garfield era. It's been a while, it's been a while, but um, we're back and we're happy and we're healthy. But before we get into that, this is Clips and Coffee. So today we are watching Tick Tick Boom. This is probably one of my favorite movies that came out this year. As you can see on my Instagram, I made a reel on my favorite movies that came out this year. And yeah, so I'm really excited to watch this. I have watched this already. This is me just going back into it. Don't know how copyright's gonna treat me today, but we'll see. So I made chai tea latte, but I spiced it up. Because I added cinnamon and uh, pumpkin spice. And it's fine. So I have oat milk and chai tea concentrate from Tazo. And then I saw this recipe on Pinterest where they added cinnamon and like pumpkin spice, allspice situation. I added that in there as well. And this is gonna be first taste test. I didn't put ice because I accidentally filled it to the brim. Not my best work guys, sorry. Smells good though. So uh, let's see what this tastes like. Oh, I added sugar to it which makes this really sweet, but I like it. Oh wait, am I a chai person? All right, so we are on our way to watch Tick Tick Boom. I hope you enjoy the video, let us begin. So if you've seen Rent, this is kind of like what this movie feels like. I enjoyed Rent, uh, borderline obsessed with it. But yes, this kind of like resembles it, obviously because Jonathan Larson created Rent, and this kind of falls into it. So I like how Lin-Manuel kind of kept the same essence Hi. of it, but made it its own thing. Also, Andrew Garfield, ah! I'm not gonna act like I know a lot about Jonathan Larson, but the way his mannerisms, he picked up on it a lot. I watched this YouTube video about Jonathan Larson, so I kind of see the resemblance of Andrew's portrayal. Happy anniversary, I love you so much. Oh, how does it feel to live my dream? Have an original dystopian rock musical that I have spent the last eight years of my life writing and rewriting. Oh, rewriting. this just hits a little too deep for me. Ah. Older than Stephen Sondheim when he had his first Broadway show. Older than Paul McCartney when he wrote his last Oh, uh, this was such a thing for me for like the past few years of like making it before I hit 30 because that for some reason means that you're successful or you've made it or whatnot. And I've had to let that go because I am knocking on 30 and I'm not where I want to be. And so, but it's fine. It's okay. We don't have to do it before 30. Like taxes. Only once in your life. <sighs> Andrew is just putting his foot in this role, and I've, it's gonna be something I'm gonna say throughout the entire movie. So just brace yourself. Quit, quit! I gave, I gave my notice. I'm allowing myself to be led by love. What does that mean? You see, okay, look. Um, I was just talking about this yesterday. That like some people in New York have the luxury to be able to just not have to work and solely chase their dreams. Can't relate, okay? I'm barely making it by. Hey, Pookie. Hi. How cute. Oh, the relationship. I went from the oh my gosh, I cry. They really have I such great chemistry, man. these two. It's ridiculous though. You know, it's one thing to be able to act with each other, but these two sick of actors have really great to chemistry to together. Nuts. What is the point of money? If you're not gonna spend it on the people that you love. Her, I, that's the model I'm gonna live by. My and account's gonna suffer, but hey. I'm spending it on people I love, and sometimes that person is me. I never get to go to artist parties, you know? It sucks. The drugs there are always the best. Mm, mm, Fair. Mm. It's got some finance. Oh, Shocking. explains a lot, yeah, obviously. I'm the future of musical theater, Scott. All right, Jonathan. Mm. Can we just talk about how amazing you were tonight? We love a man who uplifts his girl. Come on. The bare minimum. 
So this is just for the summer? No. Mm. It's permanent. John? Uh, Susan, you can't. <laughs> Miss, you just told the man that you're going to move forever. You already made the decision, which I'm fine with. You know, you're not married. You're not tied to this man. But you got to take it into consideration. Just it's you what you're going to do Just a little bit. Hello, my butcher blocked. You better dance, David. The door of your own <laughs> I love that. I like the physical acting of it. It's not just like dancing, it's also movement. Oh, this looks so dirty. Favorite part. I love this part. I just love how everything is the, the slow mo enhances everything that's happening. I love this shot. Yes. Yes. I love that. No need to explain why. Beautiful. You still don't the juxtaposition of it all. Steven mm, mm, mm. Sondheim. It's crazy how this came out, and then not even a month later, the man oh. passes away. Insane. I'm wrong. I don't know what the show is. Is it social commentary? Is it science fiction? Walter, I think this is a musical that knows exactly what it is. Yes. Yes, I, of course, yes, the absolutely. World. This is what y'all be sounding like on the internet, just really? bashing people for really? no reason to make yourself seem smarter. Look how stupid you look. Particularly easy. Look how stupid you look. Amazing, 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 amazing. And they credited the person. Listen, TikTok, you might want to take some notes. Credit people. If they can do it in a freaking blockbuster movie. My first You sure can too. The whole operating budget is Half a million dollars? Isn't it just Before like these the companies, production companies, I can say, numbers. to make all this money, but won't give two measly more dollars to the people that is making you money? I don't understand the concept, but whatever, I digress. What about Susan's time? When am I going to talk to Susan? Facts, because you are stringing this lady along. So she needs to just be up out of there the at this point. It's not my business. Oh, no, it is. It is. Nah, she has an ulterior. She has an ulterior. Ah! Nah, she has an ulterior motive. But yes, as she should. No, the actor take breaks. I don't. What's in this chai? As she should, since he's giving her the run around, he's just like not talking to her. He's not communicating with her when she needs to make a decision. And at this point, Susan, I say go be free. Thanks. Michael, I'm sorry. Can I can I call you back later? I'm just I'm ah. Uh, I understand he has so, like what uh, two to three days dimensions. left until his workshop. But it's like if you hear your friend says that they need advice on something in that tone. I've been distracted, but I promise you, after the workshop, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I know, sis. But like, he's what working on this for a very long time. I understand that concept. No, like, I understand both sides. I feel like there is a balance, but it's really hard being in a relationship when you're like so far you're focused broke. is like what making it. My career behind. I think I don't know that. What? Also on her part, she should have communicated as well. You. So I just, I wanted you to tell me not to go. Yes, you know he doesn't want you to go. And this part infuriates me because if I was burying my soul and I felt a tap on my back, I would have been fighting. I hope that you have an amazing workshop. Agreed. Susan. I hope you're a success. I hope you make it. I hope you're a household name. Okay. You see how she acting now? But once you become a big man on campus? Two hours of this for one extra musician this is crazy because so i remember when i used to um george washington be an audience Abraham member Abraham for like Abraham 40 to 70 dollars racism gender. oh my gosh yeah. having to do all of this yeah. for 70 dollars so i can pay some bills while trying to uh, oh to nothing in your way except horizon mm. that was beautiful mm. that is beautiful <laughs> Mr. Larson. Mwah. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah. Now you not. Now you friends. Get away from him, Peggy. Son, are some side effects associated with the product that I've been instructed to tell you about? So it's skin scales. 
scales. Um, full hair loss. All of it. Hair, eyebrows. Eye Everything. Lashes. All lost. The rest of my life. Ah, I'm going through something because there, are there was a time where I was just like, Salty I need to find a nine to five job because this isn't working anymore. I need a nine to five job. There I just, no I can't, ideas. I can't try and live in this city Free oil. and do nothing. Okay. I can't just live in a city and try to follow my dreams with no money. So I was like, I need to be, I need to have a nine to five job. I get a nine to five job. I was so anxious. I was, I was like, this can't be my life for the rest of my life. I can't be coming here every day. This can't be my routine. I was feeling this. Substitute. Uh, that was funny. No? It's everything. Oh, well, it doesn't hurt. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you, are you sure about that? To death that they are next. So I'm sorry for getting a nice car, John. I'm sorry oh, this for performance. moving into an apartment with central heating. I'm sorry for enjoying my life while I still have time. Oh, beautiful performance. Go. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Honestly, I feel like in any other circumstance, this part would be extremely, not extremely, but quite cheesy, I guess. But I just love the incorporation of the effects in this scene. Like, this is beautiful. I'm sorry. That's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just shows the notes. Yeah, I'm here for it. And then the lyrics is in the water. He's physically saying the song. In this song, you can hear some of the lyrics because he's singing it, and in his head, he's, it's just, yeah, no, I love it. It's great. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 30 on Sunday, you know. Oh, well, happy birthday. Thank you. 30's still young, you know. Thank you. Oh, I, uh, this concept it's of 30 really being old fun. is insane, which is funny because when I was younger and my time. sister was 28, I was like, whoa, is her life over? But now I'm just like, I still feel like a child. Can you sight read? Yeah. And if she couldn't, if she could not sight read, what would you have done? Slow. My favorite character. Oh, I love him so much. Can't wait to see what you did. <laughs> just the best facial expressions. Can't keep waiting. Andrew just really great at with I know, I know, I know, I know. acting with his whole really face, like okay. whole body. Amazing. Where's where's his Oscar? So what am I supposed to do now? Write another one. You start writing the next one. And after you finish that one, you start on the next. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> That's what creatives Listen, have to deal with to make this a freaking career. It's just mind blowing that there's so many people who one. are, you know, trying to be writers, actors, dancers, directors, filmmakers, and all. Know. The crazy part is there's space for everyone. Hey, but there's just not enough resources or opportunities for everybody. Five more years of, of writing things that no one will ever see while Broadway just churns out mega musicals without a hint of even the slightest thing original or God forbid, something to actually- <laughs> Was Jonathan in my diary? <laughs> I say this all the time about like the film industry, oh, that there's people who amazing. are writing, Trash. there are people who are writing things with such a different perspective but they don't want to take chances on these people. And so we have ambulance. You don't know anything about it. I'm HIV positive. Idiot. Like, shut up. Oh. This song is just, it's, it's, it's short, but like, uh, the, the passion behind it. This real life. Oh, so good. I think of to stop. I want it all to stop. I can't do this. I will not do this. <sighs> He's trespassing. Are we not gonna? We're not gonna do anything about that. No consequences. He's trespassing. And apparently, this was this scene was shot at the end of the first week of shooting. So before like any of the things that previously happened in this movie, he had to dig deep into something to find the emotion to pull off the scene because they only had the location for like up until that week or whatever. Jonathan never got to see it. I'm pissed. The night before <laughs> Ren's first public performance. Oh my died. gosh. It wasn't that, it was just a sudden aortic aneurysm. He went to two different doctors cause he wasn't feeling well and they both misdiagnosed him. That's so frustrating that these people 
who are supposed to be medical professionals can just go around acting a fool in these hospitals and other people have to suffer for it. Make a wish. Oh, give me a second, give me a second. Makeup, makeup, makeup. That was tick, tick, boom. I hope you can see why this movie really resonates with me. It's essentially like what I'm sort of going through in my own personal life and I don't like being attacked that way. So, mm. well, one, I just love musicals, but also I just appreciate the fact that this was such a passion project for Lin-Manuel. I believe Rent was probably like the, the, the Broadway show that made him feel like he could do this too. And so um, Jonathan Larson is, is someone special to him. And so him creating this just really, I can feel the love that he has for him. So I can't talk anymore. I'm just still too emotional. Ugh. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me with the engagement and such. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great too. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Bye.